On Friday, the Supreme Court in Manhattan for the state of New York handed down a maximum penalty for the Trump organization as the final verdict of their fraud trial. That penalty of course is $1.6 million, which is, as I said, the maximum that a company can receive in penalties. And of course it is basically pennies for the Trump organization. That's made hundreds of millions of dollars over the years that this fraud activity was taking place. However, as the New York time points out, it does officially now that we have the punishment label the Trump organization, a criminal organization. Here is what the New York times wrote. The financial penalty is a penance for the company and the former president who collected hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue each year while in office. But the verdict branded the company as a lawbreaker, exposed a culture that nurtured illegality for years and handed political ammunition to Mr. Trump's opponents. Now, before the penalty was handed down, Trump's lawyers once again had to go in front of the court and they said, listen, we want a smaller penalty because as we told you repeatedly during trial in those arguments that you rejected, we told y'all this was all Mazars. It was the accounting firm. It was Alan Weisselberg who, by the way, this past week also got sentenced to five months on Rikers Island. But the lawyers went in with the same tired arguments again, that the court had rejected, that the jury had rejected and said, this was everybody else's fault. And then the prosecutors pointed out like, Hey, listen, um, you falsified the records to hide everything that was happening, which by the way is why Mazars didn't catch it because you falsified everything. And then the head judge was like, yeah, that's right. Enjoy your $1.6 million penalty and get the heck out of my courtroom. Now, Trump's lawyers have already announced not only are they appealing the actual jury verdict of guilty, but they're going to appeal this judgment as well. You know, the penalty, uh, we don't want to pay it. But of course, the more appeals that happen, the more those Trump lawyers get paid. So I, I think Trump at this point needs to look at the financials of that and ask himself like, is it worth it paying these lawyers hundreds of thousands of dollars and still ended up ending up having to pay some kind of penalty or should we just pay the 1.6 million and move on with it? Like, I think at the end of the day, it's going to be cheaper to just pay the penalty and put this behind you than to keep appealing it, keep losing. And of course, having negative press as you're running for president again, because that's the big thing. If you appeal it and lose, it goes back out there in the public. So do you want to keep being a loser over and over and over and over again? Or do you want to say, okay, $1.6 million. Yeah. Here's a check. See you later. Bye. Let's put this to rest. Well, Trump doesn't like to lose, but because he already lost, he wants to overturn it. He doesn't think he'll lose again. And of course the lawyers who get paid more, the more they appeal it, they're probably like, yeah, go ahead and do it, bud. We, we can totally get this. No, you're going to appeal it. You're going to keep paying those lawyers who are already proven losers and you're going to lose even more money, which is going to be even more hilarious. But again, at the end of the day, we can now officially say that the Trump organization is officially in the eyes of the law, a criminal organization which I have to imagine probably going to make it hard for them to get business loans in the future with every bank on the planet. Now knowing that those prosecutors, those investigators are always going to be looking over their shoulders to make sure this company doesn't break the law again. Hi everyone. This here is little Athena and Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to fair and balanced yet. So please, don't let Athena down. Subscribe today.